What's going on everyone? Um, I got really bad news. Uh, Slinky <clears throat> got out of his heat box last night and it was 38 degrees here in Florida. Um, I freaked out as you can see. I don't look too good. I saved you all the hysterics. It's been about, I think, 45 minutes. It was still dark when I went out and checked everyone. Um, I don't know if he's gonna make it. I thought he was dead completely. There was fluid uh, coming out of his mouth. And, um, but I've been kind of keeping him, I've been kind of hugging him and keeping him warm. And I keep seeing his eye was open and now it, he closed it and opened it. And I keep rubbing him and massaging him and I start to see movement on him. Uh, I'm really bummed out. I don't know if he's going to make it or not because it was extremely cold and he was limp and lifeless in my, in my hands. Um, but I am starting to see a little bit of signs of life. Very, very subtle. I just hope that... Uh, I hope that he's all right, because I'm not happy about this. I keep massaging him, and you can see, I hope that's not just like nerves. I don't think it is. I just keep rubbing him and putting my warm hands on him, and then it stimulates him to try and fight. So that's what we're trying to do. I checked him uh, yesterday before dark. He was in his house, and then um, what happens I guess I'm an idiot. I should have locked the top lid because he's a naughty animal and he likes to try and get out. And uh, sometime after I checked him, he got out and I went right to bed last night. I didn't do a walk around at night, which is my fault. I should have done that, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get lucky or not. I don't know if I'm going to get lucky or not. But I did see movement in his throat. And I'm just trying to massage him, guys. I tried, I think I saw his tongue try and come out. I don't know. I'm really not good with this. Why are you going out? Hurry up, because I don't want any cold air, buddy. So I'm just trying to keep this animal warm as possible and warm him up slowly. I don't know. I don't know if we just saw the very end of him or the signs of him fighting again. I don't know. I'm gonna bring his body back up to temperature though. Before I do anything. So that's what's going on. It's a shitty morning here. I'm so heartbroken to see him like this. He really is usually such an animated lizard. But now's the time for me to calm down and focus. I've got to slowly bring his body back up to a comfortable temperature. I could just as easily shock him if I warm him too quickly. This really is the worst feeling. I keep feeling how cold he is, and it's taking everything for me to not stick him on a heat mat. If I do it too quickly, I could kill him. Then again, I don't even know if he's alive. But Leo said that he noticed his eye move, and it's giving me a shot of hope. Then, a little bit, a little bit, almost unperceptibly, I noticed movement of his throat. That is awesome. But this is an agonizing moment for me. But more importantly, it must have been painful for Slinky to just slowly freeze to death. Reptile bodies are amazing. Being cold-blooded, they need to be warm enough for their bodies to perform all their functions. As he got cold, one by one, they shut down. He couldn't move. Then breathing slows. Then stops. Then I'm guessing he lost control of his muscles, and that's why the fluids in his body started to seep out. Seeing that really messed me up. You see, I've had cold stun lizards before, but they could at least move a little. Slinky was completely unresponsive and leaking. It was traumatic. 
I'm massaging him and trying to get any fluids that may be in his lungs out. I feel like the stimulation might start him up. And I am starting to see more fight in this animal. Come on, buddy. You gotta live, man. I don't know what I would do without this animal. This whole process, just watching him there, almost lifeless, is brutal. Finally, I go and I get myself that heat mat because I think it's time for us to really start to get his core warmer. And then I notice some movement. Oh man, I don't know how to tell you guys how relieved I am. Um, Slinky, uh, he stuck his tongue out, he's starting to breathe, he opened his eyes on his own. Um, I put a heat mat under him and I started to warm it up gradually. It's been about two hours since I uh, got him out of the coal and uh, it was crazy. I mean, what happened was I, um, you know, I, I did my rounds yesterday before dark and um, everyone was in, all the thermometers, everything, thermostats were working, heat was working um, and I went to bed and usually when I know it's going to be super cold, I will go out before I go to bed at night, but I was, I was really tired and I was actually falling asleep on the couch and I just went right to bed at nine. And um, I, uh, I go to bed and uh, I don't know, I don't know, you see he's opening and closing his eyes, so he's, oh my God. I spared you guys, I mean, Obviously, I'm not gonna run and grab a camera while I'm in the middle of losing my mind because I thought I, I thought I lost my animal. I mean, he was limp. There was a lot of fluid coming from his nose. So what happened was, I, I, I woke up early. I get up. I got up at five. Took a shower. Got ready and got on my clothes and went went right out to start checking animals and taking temperatures. And um, I, I checked, you know. Uh, everyone's doing good and I go to walk into Slinky's enclosure and as I go through the airlock door the door to his enclosure is shut it, it, I, I've unlatched everything but it won't open and it dawns on me I'm like well that only happens when Slinky's been out and he accidentally throws the latch so I look at his box box is sealed up but I look on the shelf on his basking area and he's laying there and I ripped the door off I just ripped the door off went and grabbed him and I had seen, oh, look at this, look at this. You could see um, movement. Uh, so I grabbed him, bunch of fluid coming from his mouth. Um, I, I freaked out. I just ran with him in my arms and came right here and started calling for Kate. Scared the crap out of Kate. Um, the kids saw me. I mean, they were freaking out. It was, it was a total, cluster it was an absolute mess um he was frozen he was about 46 degrees uh maybe even colder i didn't even take a temperature i have been taking temperatures now he's been in the house for two hours and we've got him at 58 degrees surface temperature so whatever his core temperature is i don't know but i might have got him just in the absolute nick of time i thought this animal was dead I thought we lost Slinky, guys, and it would have been my fault because I didn't check before I went to bed. Um, and furthermore, I'm gonna put latches on that box so that he cannot get out because he is such a, he just likes things his way and he just wants to get out. He doesn't realize he's gotta stay. You know, Florida's strange, man. I mean, one minute, you know, it's 80 degrees and then we get a cold snap and these animals never have to adapt for that kind of crazy uh, temperature change, you know? So he got caught and um, I think he's gonna be okay. I think, I mean, there's definite life coming back to this animal. And um, when I tell you I thought he was dead, I, as I was carrying him, he was limp, cold. There was no like stiffness to him. He's just limp and dead and it was, you can't imagine a worse feeling. You can't imagine a worse feeling. All right, that's my update for now. I'll do another one as we get this guy back. I, I can't believe this. I thought I lost him.
And uh, I don't know if we're out of the woods yet, but we're gonna keep trying. I wouldn't say that I'm an overly religious guy, but there were definitely some prayers said this morning. And seeing him move is filling my heart. All I can say is I have such a bond and love for this animal. I couldn't imagine being without him. I know one day he'll die, but I can't lose him in this way. He needs to have the best life I can give him. I'm glad he's a strong animal and that he's a fighter. I am really, really happy right now. You have no idea the relief that I feel. Um, I really thought I lost Slinky. I'm gonna let him heat up. Um, I'm just gonna, I, I have to finish checking all the animals. I've been so all consumed with slinks and I'm so glad that he's moving around again that I, I, I just stopped as soon as I saw he got hurt. And um, I'll show you what happened. You know, I came out, I checked in, the, I checked in here. What's the temperature right now? The temperature right now is 44 degrees. So I checked in there and everyone was okay. I checked in the snake room, everyone was okay. I came in here and what happened was I unlatched all three of these, but I noticed the door wasn't, wasn't opening. And I was like, well, that only happens when Slinky's been out and he walks around and accidentally hits the latch. And that's exactly what happened. See, I had to break it. I ripped it right open because I looked over and Slinky was right here, just laid out. And here's what happened, guys. Slinky pushed himself right out of this. He pushed right out. So I'm gonna take a temp. Yeah, and if you look, it's 94 degrees on the pad. He would have been fine had he just stayed in here. So what I'm gonna do, which I should have done, and I'm an idiot, and I deserve it, uh, I gotta get a latch. Usually I just screw them in. But like I said, it was already dark when I came out. But um, I'm going to get a latch today and get this situated. I just can't believe it, man. Um, let's hope everything's okay with these lunatics. Let's see. This is just the worst, guys. I'm sure you guys look at there. They are. 78 degrees. Perfect. They're both fine. Um, thank God. Those are two other ones that I've had. I, I, there's some animals that you just have, guys, that you have a connection with. Slinky, I absolutely love. And uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I made a lot of promises to the Almighty to save that lizard. And that lizard's coming back, so I don't know. Um, I don't know, man, thank God. That was something. I know it's a silly little thing, it's just a lizard, but they're not just lizards to me. These animals are, uh, they're family, man. Oh, I hate this time of year because it's the worst. And look at this, look at this maniac. Look at this, I told you these guys were tough. 42 degrees, he must have just walked out. Holy smokes. See, they usually stay in here, but this guy's fine. That's incredible. I think you guys might be bored with the, um, just bored with the weather, but this is what's been going on, guys, and I bring it to you. You know, it's not a, I don't make shit up here at this channel. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to keep things going, 61 degrees, good. Just trying to keep these animals healthy and happy. I'm just really freaking happy about Slinky. I just want to check the galops. I don't know. Uh, not a lot to say, except I'm extremely grateful. I just want to get through this last tortoise shed and see how everyone's doing. Normally, I'd be on the bike right now. Uh, that's not a good breeding because I gotta shoot it in here and this thing. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go.
go like that. Oh. Let's see what the temps are. If they're fine. Temperatures were good. All right, let's get back in and we'll see how Slinky's doing. Look at this, guys. Slinky's feeling a lot better. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that this lizard is alive. I really can't. I got extremely lucky, as did he. And um, I say it a million times over and over again, guys, that I give you the reality of keeping these reptiles. I am so grateful that I'm an early riser, uh, but I'm more grateful that this animal's alive because I was, I, I would not be consolable. Um, I just can't believe that he's come back to me because I really thought you were dead, buddy. I really did think you were gonna die on me. And little Leo saw a little tiny bit, of, the tiniest bit of life. And uh, it just shows you how incredible reptiles are. Um, how tough and uh, resilient they can be. And I've said this before on the channel, that um, heat will kill your reptiles quicker than cold. And um, I got lucky that Slinky is a big lizard. His external temperature is about 43 degrees when I grabbed him. So somewhere deep inside of his body, he was warm enough uh, to, to just keep, I don't even know guys, I mean their physiology is so incredible because he wasn't breathing, he wasn't moving, his eye, one eye was open, one eye was shut. He wants to go outside into that sun, I can tell you that, but um, it is just not gonna be warm enough for him. I wanna keep him in. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put him in the snake room on a heat pad in there. Um, but the fact that we got Slinky back, guys, I can't, I, I just, I can't believe it. Um, I thought I was gonna have to make the most horrible video of my entire life just explaining to you guys that Slinky died. And um, what I'm just so thrilled and happy. I hope he just lays back down on that heat mat. He's starting to feel better. I, I can't believe he's alive. When I picked him up, fluid poured out of his mouth and he was just completely debilitated and dead by my eyes. So I want this to be a lesson. Do not give up on your lizards or reptiles if they are cold stunned. Bring them back up to temperature very, very slowly. That is gonna be the best thing you can do is slowly bring them back. You do not heat them quicker. I hugged them, I allowed my body temperature to warm them. Come here, you big lug you. Feel me, I'm warm. Um, I just let him somehow come back once I started um, seeing signs of life. Uh, once Leo told me and then I looked, I calmed down and stopped being a, a freaking lunatic. I started to just look at him and see that he was still inside his body. And um, my God, I, I'm so happy because my vet, um, he actually contacted me this morning around eight. Hold on. He contacted me at eight o'clock to ask me how my galop's doing. And I called him immediately because I got a text from him and I, I explained what happened and what was going on and how Slinky was coming back. And I got nervous, could he get pneumonia? And um, he says that, you know, pneumonia is usually caused by uh, bacteria or some kind of fungus. And the cool thing is, is that, you know, Slinky was in tremendous health prior to that, but I'm just gonna have to watch Slinky for his appetite when we get him way warmed up again we're gonna see what his appetite's doing um and we'll go from there but i he didn't seem to think there would be such a big problem and uh the fact that i'm seeing my buddy right now you guys don't know i was in tears man oh here you get to lay on me buddy i was absolutely wrecked i was totally wrecked and i love this lizard man I, uh, I love this guy, so I'm glad he's okay. And um, I will never, ever 
neglect to do something I'm supposed to do. I should have had that latched. I should have put a latch on that guy a long time ago. Um, but he had been being good. He hadn't been pushing out. And of course, the coldest night of the year, he pushed out. I do check them. I uh, checked them before dark. He was in. Temperatures were good. But I, I'm going to check them before I go to bed, no matter how tired I am. And that's that, man. This is a amazing, lucky, lucky, lucky break I've just gotten. Come here, Slinks. Just an incredible lucky break. Come here. You can go back to bed on this. Come here. It's warm. Come here. It's warm. Um, I'm not going to be able to let him walk around, Kate. Kate is, Kate is also awesome. As soon as I brought him in, she got me a towel and she was upset and um, the kids were upset and I just loved them for being by my side because I would I never would have known had Leo not been paying attention. So thank you, my little buddy Leo. He's such a good boy. He was crying. It was um, just the worst thing. I love this animal. I'm so happy. Guys, I, you could, I could tell you for another 30 minutes how happy I am. Um, but I think you guys get it. Thank you for watching. Let's all learn. That's what I'm trying to do on this channel. Even in Florida, your animals can freeze to death. Um, don't give up on them. Do not give up on them. Get them warm. Bring them back up the temperature slowly. And just let them do what their physiology can do. They are truly amazing and almost supernatural creatures, but they're not. They're just designed incredibly well. And uh, I'm very thankful to Mother Nature, God, whomever you want to call the designer of this creature, I am grateful. And that's the truth. But I'm glad he's reacting to me again. I hope you're the same lizard, man. I hope you didn't turn into something else because I sure do love you. Um, I think he'll be the same. The same sweet, snake-eating, lunatic slinky. And uh, I'm going to be on him. I'm going to be watching him. I'll give you guys an update. Thank you so much for watching the show. It's a little bit of a sketchy, scary video today. Um, if you guys get things out of these videos and you enjoy watching life happen, uh, good and bad, uh, just subscribe, thank you, but you know I forget all that crap today, I'm just so pumped, it's like he's alive, I'm not ready to lose this dude, no way, he's got a lot of life, alright guys, that's it, we did it, I'll give you some updates uh, as, as we progress here, thank you so much, thank you Slinky, I love you buddy, I'll see you all soon.